Art Forensics Art forensics is a significant field of study that has become popular in the past decade. It involves crime investigation, using the applied field of study to detect stolen properties, forgery, and deception. This field of study is useful for auction houses, buyers, and insurance companies, providing satisfaction about the originality of their products. Bloodstain Pattern Analysis It is a type of forensic science involving the interpretation of bloodstain patterns at the location of the crime in an attempt to recreate the scenario that led to the crime. The patterns are analyzed using the principles of biology, physics, and mathematics to hypothesize the possible reason for bloodshed. Comparative Forensics As the name suggests, it is a field of study involving different comparison techniques to find similarities or differences in the obtained physical evidence. This helps them make an accurate judgment. Comparative Forensics mainly involves analyzing fingerprints, ballistic analysis, and tool mark analysis. Computational Forensics it is a forensic science involving digital devices like computers, phones, and PDAs to obtain document and preserve evidence. This data is documented through the investigation and analysis techniques used in forensics. Criminalistics. It involves collecting and comparing evidence regarding criminal activity using scientific methods. The experts in this field are called criminalists or forensic scientists who analyze the obtained evidence, such as DNA or fingerprints, to make a report. Digital forensics. This type of forensic science is similar to computational forensics and involves identifying, processing, and analyzing electronically stored data. Since the use of technology in criminal activities has increased, this forensic branch is significant for law enforcement agencies to regulate. Earprint analysis. As the name suggests, it is a type of forensic identification involving the analysis of earprints for a crime investigation. By pressing the human ear against any surface, the skin oils on the ear that are unique to every human get on that surface, making a print. This helps accurately identify the criminal, making it a method as useful as DNA profiling. Election forensics. This is the type of forensics used to determine fraud in elections. It uses statistical methods to compare election results with the voting behavior of citizens to determine whether the results obtained at polling stations are genuine. Forensic accounting. This forensic science is mainly used for determining financial crimes. It uses accounting investigative methods to conduct monetary analysis and make detailed reports discussing any financial misconduct within a certain workplace. Forensic aerial photography. This field of study involves the analysis of photographs captured from a height to aid in criminal investigations. Since the pictures taken from above can provide a clear view of the crime scene from an angle that cannot be seen from the ground, it increases the chance of an accurate investigation. Forensic anthropology. Forensic anthropology can simply be called the investigation of human remains. It involves using archaeological techniques and skeleton analysis to solve old murder cases. By studying the bones of the victim, forensic anthropologists can determine the gender, age, and time of death of the person, thus aiding in their identification. Forensic archaeology. This type of forensic science is similar to forensic anthropology, yet it is not limited to human remains. It involves using archaeological techniques to recover anything from the crime scene that can serve as evidence to solve the case. Forensic astronomy. Astronomy is the study of stars, galaxies, and other space phenomena, and when combined with forensic investigation, it makes forensic astronomy. This field of study involves using astronomy to investigate astronomical concepts in art and literature. This field of study is not common like other forensic sciences, but is used in historical investigations. Forensic botany. As the name suggests, it is the study of plants and the application of their science to legal matters. Plants are often a huge source of forensic evidence due to their unique characteristics and sensitivity to some environments. These characteristics are sometimes helpful in solving serious murder and kidnapping cases, making forensic botany a significant field of study. Forensic chemistry. It involves the use of chemistry and toxicology in legal settings. The investigators sometimes come across mysterious substances like drugs or poisons that are difficult to identify. Forensic chemists study their composition and chemical properties to find what they are. This makes the rest of the investigation easier. Forensic dactyloscopy. This is one of the most commonly used forensic techniques in crime investigations. Forensic dactyloscopy is the analysis of fingerprints to identify a criminal. Because the fingerprints of every human are unique and do not change throughout their lives, dactyloscopy is a very reliable method for investigation. Forensic document examination. This field of forensic science involves the analysis of the features of a document, like signatures, handwriting, or any other element that can aid in further investigations. People who examine those documents are experts who analyze them based on set standards and give their opinions. Forensic DNA analysis. As the name shows, it is a field of study involving the analysis of genetic material to help investigate the identity of the victim, mainly in murder investigations. It is also reliable for other crimes and investigations, like paternity testing.
Forensic engineering. Forensic engineering can be understood as investigating the failure of machines or components using engineering principles. It is a significant method of investigation in crimes involving sudden road accidents or sparking that can cause fire or death. Using mechanical or electrical engineering concepts, the investigators can recreate a scene to discern what might have caused the accident, thus aiding in finding the actual cause. Forensic entomology. It is a common investigation method used to find the time and place of the victim's death by studying the insects around the dead body. In some cases, the dead body is removed from the crime scene and shifted somewhere else to remove the evidence. Forensic entomology can help us investigate that, thus ensuring an accurate judgment of the victim's place of death. Forensic geology. As its name suggests, forensic geology involves the study of material found on Earth, including minerals, soil, and petroleum, to investigate a case. From tracing criminals to locating a particular site, this technique can ease the investigation process, thus playing a major role in the criminal justice context. Forensic geophysics. This prominent branch of forensic science involves mapping objects buried underneath the earth or water. The object can be anything from a weapon to a human body, which is crucial to further investigation. Forensic toxicology. This branch of forensics is similar to forensic chemistry and involves the analysis of samples to detect the presence of toxins in them. Along with determining the presence of toxins, it can also tell the composition of the substance and the amount present in another substance. It is a major means of investigation in drug use and poisoning cases. Forensic video analysis. This field of study involves analyzing and evaluating the footage of a crime. By watching the video closely, the analyst can find out how the crime was executed and what weapons were involved, sometimes hinting at how to catch the culprit. Mobile device forensics. This field of study is very similar to digital forensics and involves extracting and analyzing data from mobile devices. This aids in recovering important information like text messages and call history that can give major hints about the case at hand, making its solution easier. Trace evidence analysis. As the name suggests, it involves the investigation of small traces of a substance like pollen, gunpowder, or fibers that get transferred between objects or people during a criminal activity. This investigation can help us link a victim to the suspect by finding a mutual connection between them. Wildlife forensic science. This forensic science involves the investigation of crimes against wildlife, including smuggling, poaching, and animal abuse. It helps find the target animal's identity and its geographic origin. Forensic intelligence. Forensic intelligence stands for using forensic data in criminal investigations. Forensic information obtained during case investigations helps to accelerate the process of solving cases. The data obtained during these investigations helps law enforcement agencies find links between evidence, suspects, cases, and crime scenes, which leads to meaningful results early in an investigation. Forensic interview. Forensic interviewing is the process of gathering information from an alleged victim or witness of child abuse. The factual information collected during these interviews helps the investigation team determine the authenticity of the case. These interviews are mainly conducted at child advocacy centers by trained professionals in a conducive environment. It helps to support the victims and their families go through the tough process. Forensic histopathology. Forensic histopathology refers to using histological techniques and experiments in forensic pathology practice. It explains how the use of microscopy can determine the cause of sudden unanticipated deaths. Forensic limology. This field of forensic science deals with the investigations carried out around water ecology. It particularly deals with the study of diatoms, the organisms present in aquatic environments, whether stagnant or flowing. Finding the number of diatoms at a certain location greatly helps the investigative process. This branch of forensic science is mainly used in drowning cases. Forensic linguistics. Forensic linguistics revolves around the application of linguistic knowledge and approaches in legal and criminal cases. It involves using linguistic knowledge to analyze the written and spoken language and collect evidence during case investigations. Forensic linguistics mainly covers the language used in written law, the language used during the forensic and judicial processes, and the linguistic evidence by comparing the writing styles of the evidence and the accused. Forensic metrology. This field of study deals with the investigations carried out at forensic and criminal laboratories to help speed up the process of investigations. The results of these tests and experiments help determine whether the suspect is charged with a certain crime. Forensic microbiology. It is a scientific discipline used to study viruses, bacteria, fungi, and other microorganisms in forensic investigations. Forensic microbiology is a useful method for analyzing the evidence from bioterrorism cases. Forensic nursing. Forensic nursing is the application of nursing techniques in forensic healthcare and scientific case investigations. A forensic nurse is a highly trained professional in both medical and legal terms for the victims of abuse, trauma, violence, and long-term ailments caused by them.
Forensic Odontology Forensic odontology can be understood as the application of legal codes in dentistry. This branch of forensic science involves examining, handling, and presenting dental-related evidence like bite marks during the case investigation. Forensic Optometry This branch of forensic science involves collecting and investigating evidence related to spectacles and eyewear relating to crime scenes. This kind of investigation helps identify the time and cause of the death. Forensic Pathology it is a branch of forensic science that deals with the examination of a person who died unexpectedly without any known reasons for death. A forensic pathologist is a medical professional who carries out autopsies and postmortems to investigate the cause and manner of sudden deaths. Forensic podiatry. Forensic podiatry involves investigating the evidence related to feet on a crime scene. It can be anything from footprints to footwear and can aid in identifying the culprit with surprising accuracy. Forensic psychiatry. We can consider it a branch of psychiatry related to criminology, which deals with cases related to psychiatry and law. A forensic psychiatrist deals with convicted or suspected patients with mental health problems who are said to be a danger to themselves or the community. Forensic psychology. Forensic psychology involves providing professional psychological services for legal and judicial investigations. Forensic psychologists apply psychological theories to determine the complications related to certain criminal behavior and the treatment of those who have committed the offenses. Forensic seismology. Forensic seismology means using seismic techniques to investigate large and small-scale explosions, mainly nuclear explosions. It is commonly used for seismic risk investigations, natural hazards, seismic events, and engineering and environmental applications. Forensic serology. This field of study deals with the investigation of various bodily fluids. It involves identifying and classifying the fluids found in the body like blood, urine, and saliva, and their connection to the crime scene. Forensic serologists sometimes take help from DNA profiling or blood stain pattern analysis to provide accurate results. Forensic social work. Forensic social work is a unique field that emerged from the combination of law and social work. The experts in this field combine the theories from social sciences with the concepts of archaeology, anthropology, and psychiatry, applying them to legal, civil, and immigration matters.